Hi, I'm Monique, a registered dietitian with UT Physicians here in Rosenberg with one of my favorite recipes, Greek tacos. So I'm gonna show you how to prepare this at home. There's very little prep that you need to, to put this together. So the first thing I'm gonna do to start, I'm using ground turkey. I've got my stove top heated to medium to high heat here. What we're gonna do next is drizzle just a little bit of olive oil. I have my seasoning mix here, salt, I have pepper, and I have onion powder. I'm just gonna sprinkle this over and I'm going right out the package into the pan and we're gonna let that ground turkey cook. So the main vegetables that we're gonna use to kind of stuff this uh, Greek taco is going to be red onion, cucumber, and tomatoes. And we're gonna make nice smooth strokes through the length of the tomato. We're gonna turn it, and then we're gonna cut in the other direction so that we have nice chunks. But what I'm gonna do next is get in on this cucumber. I'm gonna cut right down the center. That way I can have my cucumber lay flat on the cutting board. And I'm gonna do nice firm cuts right across. And again, we're turning it. And you'll see that the chunks just fall right down. I'm gonna go back and, and check on my ground turkey. Spaghetti is a popular dish. Kind of, you want the ground beef to be similar to that, okay? So I have my red onion. I don't use the entire onion for this uh, recipe typically because it can be a little bit overpowering. So be mindful of that. Um, what I'm going to do is use the palm of my hands, keep my fingers up, hold that red onion down, and I'm gonna make a nice slit and we're going to use that rocking motion to make nice cuts. And then I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna do the same thing. This time I'm using my hand to kind of push down and add some pressure. Look at our mix here. And we are going to add a little bit of red wine vinegar. Let me get it to the brim. We're mixing it up now. And so now we're gonna set that aside. Let that marinate a little bit. I wanna show you something else that we're gonna to top. I'm gonna to make a cucumber sauce. What I did and what I have in this bowl, I have fresh cucumber. I have a little bit of lemon juice. I also used a little bit of, I have dill. You add dill in here, salt, pepper, um, and garlic. So we have all of that in here. And what we're using to create this cucumber sauce, I'm sure some of you probably have guessed it, Greek yogurt. I find a way to incorporate this in just about everything. So I'm gonna just pour this in here. We're gonna whisk it up. It's ideal to let this sit for about an hour or two before you use it. We're at the part where we can start to make our wrap. Regardless of what the brand is, if you can find a whole wheat option, that would be great. You know why? The fiber, right? The fiber. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get a little bit on this pita bread. Now we're going to take our ground turkey chunk and we are going to add it right into the center. We've got a little bit of everything. We've got our, our, our grains, we've got our protein, We've got our vegetables. So it's really, it's a really great balanced meal. And so now this has sat a little bit, it's gotten to absorb a little bit of that red wine vinegar to give it that nice kick that we're looking for. Be as generous as you'd like with these vegetables, okay? And the last thing that we're going to add is some spring mix. So let's just add a couple of greens here. I love that there's a little bit of purple in this mix as well. Now I do wanna add one more thing. Nice thing to add is the feta cheese. This is reduced fat. If you have this option available to you at your grocery store, I would definitely encourage you to um, try it because when it comes to feta, it's really not noticeable. So just a little bit in there, a little bit of feta. And this is our Greek taco. Okay, we've got a wide variety of flavors that are gonna come through in this. Very simple to make. Happy cooking. Enjoy your Greek tacos.